This is part two of my masonry tools. We'll call this video brought out of retirement. I was in business for 46 years, 42 years. I don't, I don't know. I've been retired for seven years, so I guess I can't say that. I started in 1972, so you guys can do the math. This is 2018. And I retired with a heart attack in 2001. I've since had a couple heart procedures. But now I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm bored, and I'm going back to work. So, now I'm going to reveal the tools that I use for actual brick laying. Um, this is a trowel that I bought to replace a big, heavy Marshalltown trowel. Um, if you can see it real well here. That's eh, not an expensive one. But, my wrist is not real good, so it replaced the one that I had been using this is a brick trowel uh, again a cheapy cleaned it up nice it's light I used to have Marshalltown brick and block trowels but they're too heavy This is uh, another one that's not real expensive. It's just a, a tuck pointing trowel for finishing up joints, packing stuff in. And let's see here. Oh, I forgot to put this one in earlier on the other video. This is a eh, kind of a wore out Marshalltown 16 inch trowel. So put that over here for right now. I don't think I'm going to load this bag totally just yet. I'm going to lay some stuff out. Um, now, my uh, couple more little things to show you. These are a pair of flat joints, uh, rakes for doing brickwork. And don't know the brand. They, this one's kind of rusted out. They still work, but you use them to rake out brick joints flat and square. You also can use a, what's called a chariot. I have one, I don't have one here. It's just a little deal of aluminum with two little wheels like a chariot and you put a, a knife or nail edge in it and it rakes out the joint, does the same thing, flat. Now, these two are block rakes. I don't know what else you call them. They might have some other name. I've had them my whole lifetime. As you can see, this one has had a lifetime of block raking. Both ends are bad. Eh, still works. I believe this is 5 8 and 3 quarters joint. And then this one is a gold blatt half inch and 5 8 just the half inch in. It cleaned up pretty nice. I, they're all, I oil my tools. And this is the half inch end. So these you use a rake a joint with. Um, got my camera adjusted down here. Uh, let's see. I'll show you my hammers. This is a brick hammer. It's an S-wing, and before anybody comments on it, yes, I know that it's ground wrong. If you look at this end, um, it's the wrong angle. It should be going the other way. Uh, oh well, it works. Uh, and this is a block hang hammer. Um, Another S wing. We're out. <laughs> Bottom end from tapping on blocks. You know, doing this stuff all day long. We're out like me. Yeah, let's see here. A couple of torpedo levels. Um, I don't know why I saved this one. The top vials broken. The other vials are okay, but it's basically junk. This is the exact same thing. 
I double checked it yesterday. Uh, this truck isn't level, but if you can get it to level, I carry them in my back pocket. Handy for cross leveling block if you're in a hurry. And this is a four inch block cutting chisel. edge on it. I have always had to keep the edge up on this because I cut a lot of blocks so I'm sure it's been ground a whole bunch of times in my lifetime. Um, the thing you want to watch is when the ends get mushroomed out like this this needs to be dressed on a 45 degree angle otherwise you can have a chunk come off because these mason hammers when you strike with one of these um, you can break off a chunk and get it. A friend of mine had his eye destroyed by a, a chunk of steel from one. Oh, I also carry a broom. That's for sweeping joints. And now these are, these are line blocks, different kinds. I can't show you in this short video. I might do it in a later video. These are set on the block wall in string wrapped around one end and they're used to stretch the string on a new block wall. And this is a little different design. This is a gold blat. I really like this one, but it's not adjustable. Um, you can use it on 6 inch or on 8 inch block. And this is like the other one, the first one. I don't know the brand. Craft. I, what, that doesn't mean anything to me. but. So these are adjustable ones. And then I have a bunch of line blocks. I'm gonna move some stuff here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. These hook on the end of a block wall. You hook another pair down the other end of the wall and stretch a string between it. These are manufactured ones. And I also have a homemade one. And of course, I always carry a bucket. And this old hydraulic bucket. And I usually carry several of these. So I got to see if these all fit in the bag now. So I guess that's all for this video today. And uh, maybe I'll get a chance in the future to show you these tools actually how they work. Bye for now.